I've completed the main storyline of Hogwarts Legacy without unlocking the unforgivable curses and I wish I hadn't because after learning them and then going back to play certain parts of the story on a different save game, you can actually use these curses on the antagonist within the main narrative and if you do decide to do so, you'll see different cutscenes and dialogue play out in the game and it will also give you the option to choose how to play certain quests a lot differently. Now of course, I'm not going to show you or tell you those storyline spoilers, but I am going to walk you through how to get hold of each unforgivable curse in this game so you can make the choice for yourself when you are presented with it. Now my swift thanks to Warner Bros for the early access code so I could get this guide out to you sharpish and let's first start with the torture curse otherwise known as Crucio or the Cruciatus curse and it will be the first unforgivable curse that you learn in this game but there is some quidditch hoops that you need to fly through before you can actually trigger this quest. First and foremost all three curses are learned by completing Sebastian Sallow's optional dark legacy quest line with the first quest for Crucio popping into your quest log after you finish the main quest called Welcome to Hogsmeade. Now you'll know you're on the right track because Seb will tell you that he will send you an owl about getting to know each other more back in Hogwarts. So make sure you check your owl post option in the pause menu because if you don't open some of these letters, the quests won't actually pop into your log. And I found that out the hard way after spending about 10 hours doing side quests trying to get this quest to pop. You'll also know you've picked up the correct Dark Arts quest arc because each of the following quests for each curse will begin with in the shadow of or words to that effect. And perhaps the most important important bit of info for this Crucio quest is that you need to be at least level 16 to be able to accept it and then learn this curse. So if you're sat around waiting for Seb's hour after Hogsmeade, make sure you reach that level and then you can smash out this quest line all in a wanna. Now as for Imperio, this quest won't automatically just appear in your quest log after you've just learned Crucio and you'll also need to be level 17 to continue onwards through this Dark Arts quest line. So what I did was finish a couple side quests inside and outside the Hogwarts grounds which then seemed to trigger a follow-up letter in the owl post tab and again make sure you check your inbox regularly because you may obtain this imperio follow-up quest quite quickly so you may not need to storm around doing side assignments to actually get it to activate and by the way if this info is helping you out so far and only if you wouldn't mind very swift like down below really helps me out so thank you very much and do subscribe if you're new here i've got lots more hogwarts legacy videos just like this coming to you very quickly well as quick as i can make them anyway so it would be great to have you along for the ride now as for avada Kedavra, the killing curse i think this was perhaps the most frustrating part of the game for me because I had two unforgivable curses in the bank and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why I wasn't receiving another owl from Seb to trigger this final quest. Well the answer to that is you need to be at least level 27 before he sends you another owl with the game recommending that you actually undertake this quest at level 28 which ends up being around a dozen hours of game time since you last learned Imperio so it is quite a large gap and that's why I was scratching my head thinking that I'd missed something or thought there was a bug in the game and this is made especially so because you can actually complete the whole story by level 25. So if you want to get hold of this curse before the story ends, I would recommend that you hoover up all of the field guide pages around Hogwarts and throughout the Scottish Highlands as they seem to be the best XP earner in regard to time spent obtaining them and that's comparatively to other side quests and collectibles for XP farming. Now to be clear, you can actually progress through Seb's optional side quest storyline and still complete it and choose not to learn or engage with the dark arts. It just means that you won't have these three unforgivable spells for this particular character. So that's the choice you need to make. Now, if you're on the hunt for more tips and tricks so you can get even more out of this awesome game, then click the video on your screen right now and I'll see you there in just a second. But if you're still here, my huge thanks to Nika who's joined me in early access and played different variations of this quest to bring you all the right info. So Butterbeer is on her and I will see you in that next video.